Welcome back and now we come into the heart of what we need to do as far as course uh, editing is concerned and that is the question and we're going to go back into our course that we actually created, our course 2 and here we're going to look at the assessment section. What I suggest is that we go to our sec section on assessment but we go to a Word document which I've actually got prepared which highlights the section that's been created with the questions on it on, uh, uh, that we'd like to actually have in the course. Let's just uh, make that slightly smaller there so that we can see it properly. And um, so what we're going to do is we're going to look at having an introduction to the assessment and then have two questions. The first question will be a multiple choice, and so they would have three responses. The first one is um, going to just be, uh, well, the first two are uh, questions which are incorrect statements, and the um, last one is saying that those two are incorrect. So the correct answer, in fact, would be this one here and let's indicate that by one point, need, one point needs to be awarded. The second question is going to be a fill in the blanks. So there's the question itself and the correct answer is CK editor and again one point will be allocated for the correct answer. Right, let's jump right in and go to our course and um, let's first of all edit this page for and call it assessment overview and here we go back to our word document and as we've done previously we would just copy and paste that in and have it as our default 16 font and because this is right in the middle, I'm going to just make this uh, a 20 font and keep it on the left, save that page. And now we can create a question. So we go again to the right hand side here for our actions bar and we're going to create a question. In the questions, it's just going to ask us what the question is. So let's call this question one and we're not going to fill in the answer because this is going to be a multiple choice question and it's going to be out of one and if we go back here we've got our feedback so we could already go and fill in the feedback that's going to be displayed the time that we want to actually have the feedback we could have it immediately which would mean directly after the question has been answered Periodically means after the last question has been answered. And then at the end means at the end of the whole course. So let's look at having it uh, periodically. And then um, answer type we leave blank at the moment. That's a new feature that is actually coming out in a moment. Save that. You'll notice that the question has been placed at the start of the course. And we need to drag it down to the place that we want it to be. If we want it under the assessment, we have to just make sure that it's indented underneath that sub-course there. Now we've created the question, we need to create the content for it. So let's go back to our Word document and copy in uh, the question description as we have it here. So let's go and highlight that, delete the default content and paste it in. You can take out that queue and save that. Again, copy default to 16, maybe have the question header at 20. And there we go. Now we've got the question description correct. Now we go to our actions list and you'll notice that because we're in the question we've got an item called response. 
Now we're going to create the first response. Go back to our Word document, and that's the wording that we want. Sorry, let me just <coughs> control C, and we've got our uh, response information over here. So we can go in and paste that into our document. Maybe make it also default to size 16. Uh, response value. Now this is what's stored in the doc in the database from a point of view of being able to search it. So we can copy the same text in, but over here we might actually have uh, certain things in bold, but those things won't come out in this section over here. Feedback. We can have feedback directly for the particular response. In this case, we're going to have feedback after the question. This is an interesting feature, display order. If two or more of the items have a display order which are the same, then they will randomize and swap around. So in this particular case, let's make this random uh, order zero, and we do the same for the next one. So we go back here, and we copy in and paste it into our CK editor. Best to use the word one. And 16 again. And response value, just the same feedback. We're not having a feedback at the moment from here, but we will have feedback at the end of the question. Points awarded zero, order zero again. And there we go. It will actually display the second uh, question. Now, then we're going to copy the correct answer in. And here we're going to go and add that in. Size 16. Response value. Feedback moments. Points awarded. 1. Order. Now I'm going to make the order greater than the other two, so it always is at the bottom. Otherwise, the statement doesn't make sense because it will be randomized and sometimes it will be up at the top or in the middle. Great. So let's have a look. Which of the following statements is correct? And that's the only correct one. And our question is finished. Let's go ahead and do the multiple choice question. So here again, we go here, create a question, uh, we call it question 2, and we're going to have the correct answer for this question is CK Editor. So we would put the correct uh, answer in here, and awardable points is 1, feedback Question feedback, we've got that question feedback all ready for you. So here we can go and copy it in there. And we say this is periodically, which is the end of the current uh, set of questions. And save. <coughs> there it is at the top again, and we can copy it down to where we want it. And we go in and edit the question. Here we go, edit that question and name the page editor used by Gate Mobile. So here we go again, paste it in, size, uh, font, sorry, size 16. What I didn't do is add in the header question 2. And if I recall correctly, we made that size 20 and bold. And we leave that just with uh, the, uh, the question like that. And don't forget to save. Right, we've basically finished that. And we can go and uh, check to see if our question has been done correctly. Here we, I just clicked on the assessment overview and it's got our course in there. And now we are really working on as we, if we're a student and we can go through. 
Now you'll notice here's the two questions. Uh, I see they are in the same order, but they they would be randomised if we uh, if, if we did it the second time, we might do that. So I'm answering that one, and I'm going to type in CK editor next because we said it must give us our results. It'll provide us with the results immediately. Assessment results two out of two. Yippee! I can do this stuff. And here it gives me the question. It gives me the feedback, and it gives me the choice that I made. And the same with the second question. Done, and we're finished with the editing of the question. One last thing is people can go into tools and everyone will have uh, the option view results. Some of the other options aren't available depending on the actual editing rights. There we go. And there's the assessment that I did. Thanks for watching and see you next time.